Heyo, I'm Creato, and today I'll be showing you how to find a trial chambers in the 1.21 Tricky Trials update, as well as everything you need to know to prepare for battle and collect lots of rewards. Also, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel as your support really means a lot. So the trial chambers are a new underground structure made up of a lot of new copper and tough block variants. Trial chambers are a fairly large structure about the size of a stronghold, but with much larger and taller rooms instead. Trial chambers generate at about the same rarity as strongholds, and trial chambers also generate around Y level negative 20, but they can also generate all the way to the bottom of the world but usually no higher than around level 0. Trial chambers can also generate below any surface biome, and also in any cave biome. Plus trial chambers are mostly hidden, but it's still possible to find parts of it sticking out in caves, making it much easier to find when already underground. But when you're on the surface the best way to find a trial chambers is to use a map, and you can get a trial chambers map by going to any type of village, and then look for a cartographer villager with a cartography table, then you will have to trade with the villager until it is leveled up to a journeyman. Make sure to collect enough paper and glass pane since you will need those items plus a compass to get the trial chambers map. And also remember that if the villager sells a map for a different structure then just try again with another villager. But once you have the trial chambers map unlocked you can get it, and use it to locate the nearest trial chambers. Also remember that each villager only sells one type of trial chambers map, so if you want to find another trial chambers then you will have to get a different map from a different villager, but to get to a trial chambers all you need to do is move toward the icon until you are standing right above it, it might be a bit of a long walk, but you'll eventually get there as long as you keep following the map. And once you finally get to where the icon is, you can now carefully dig down until you get to the trial chambers, the trial chambers likely won't be in an open cave which means you can keep digging down until you find the tough or copper blocks located around the structure. Since there are so many rooms in a trial chamber you can just start exploring around any room you enter first. Just keep in mind that there are lots of trial spawners everywhere which will start spawning mobs once you get within a few blocks of them. Only mobs spawned by the trial spawners can spawn in trial chambers which means you don't need to worry about anything else. But there are some rooms with other types of danger like powder snow which can cause you to get stuck and start freezing. Plus some of the rooms can have lots of trial spawners with different types of mobs which can make exploring in that room a bit tricky. And there is also lots of things like stairs ladders and platforms which can help you move around the trial chambers to get at different height levels where you can find other rooms. And you might notice there aren't many chests and that is because most of the loot is stored in decorated pots and vaults. And most of the decorated pots are located in hallways where you can find lots of them. Just remember that each decorated pot can only have one type of item inside of it, but that item can still stack. But there will still only be a few of each item inside of each decorated pot, and you can easily get the item out of a decorated pot by punching it, plus you can use your hand to punch the decorated pot and get it back. Or use a sword to break it and instead get the pottery sherds and bricks used to craft it. The most common items you'll find in decorated pots are emeralds, arrows, gold ingots, and lapis. And there are some other more uncommon items like amethyst shards and trial keys that you can also get from decorated pots which would be more useful. And there are some other much rarer items which can be found in a decorated pot like diamonds, emerald blocks, and even a diamond block which are only in less than 1% of all decorated pots. Plus there are also three unique pottery shards from the decorated pots and a music disc that can only be found here in the trial chambers. And there are still tons of other places to find rewards in the trial chambers such as the trial spawners. Each trial spawner spawns different mobs, but always one type of mob per trial spawner. And then the trial spawner will drop a reward when all the mobs have been defeated. There are many types of mobs that can spawn from a trial spawner. And you can tell what mob will spawn by looking at the blocks below the trial spawner, or just look inside to see the mob spinning. Trial spawners only drop one item as a reward before it goes into cooldown for 30 minutes. And there are many items you can get from a trial spawner such as baked potatoes and glowberries plus some more rare items like enderpearls and potions, but the trial key is the most common drop, and also the best item to get since you will be needing lots of trial keys to open up all the vaults around the trial chambers. And vaults have lots of different items you can get from them as well, each time you unlock a vault it will always dispense between 3 to 6 different types of items with some of the items in multiple amounts. Some of the most common items to get from vaults are emeralds, arrows, iron ingots, and honey bottles plus some other uncommon rewards like golden carrots, diamonds, wind charges, and enchanted books. But there are also some rarer and more valuable items like enchanted diamond tools plus another unique armor trim banner pattern and music disc. This specific armor trim banner pattern and music disc can only be found in vaults unlike the other ones found in decorated pots. But the ominous bottle is an uncommon drop from a vault, but still something very valuable since it can be used to start an ominous event to get even better rewards from trial spawners. To start an ominous event you need to drink an ominous bottle and go near a trial spawner. You will then get bad omen which immediately turns into raid omen since you are in a trial chamber. The raid omen will then turn the trial spawners into ominous trial spawners where it spawns stronger mobs and gives better rewards when all the mobs are defeated. 
An ominous trial spawner has the chance to drop the same food and potions as a normal trial spawner, but an ominous trial spawner has a 30% chance of dropping an ominous trial key which is the main item you want to get from an ominous trial spawner. This ominous trial key can then be used to unlock an ominous vault which drops even better rewards and is always surrounded by red candles and glazed terracotta. Like a normal vault, an ominous vault also drops between 3 to 6 different types of items with some of the items having a chance to be in multiple amounts. Some of the common drops from an ominous vault are emeralds, wind charges, diamonds, and even enchanted golden apples. And some of the uncommon drops are enchanted diamond tools, emerald blocks, and iron blocks. And of course the item you would want the most from an ominous vault is a heavy core to craft a mace which only has a 7.5% chance of dropping from an ominous vault. Plus there are also some unique armor trims, music discs, and enchantments for a mace that can only be obtained from an ominous vault. The armor trim and music disc from an ominous vault are both different from the ones that can be found in decorated pots and normal vaults. Which makes this armor trim and music disc the rarest in the entire trial chambers. But even though the best loot in trial chambers comes from vaults and trial spawners, there are still some barrels and chests hidden around the place which can give some other more common items which might be useful while exploring the trial chambers. Barrels can be found around some of the hallways and mostly contain common items like bamboo planks, baked potatoes, and enchanted golden tools. And sometimes some rarer items like diamonds and even enchanted diamond tools. Plus there are also some chests in a few of the rooms which mostly contain items similar to barrels. Chests can have items like arrows, honeycomb, scaffolding, bamboo planks, and torches as well as some uncommon items like enderpearls and trial keys which would definitely be useful to get. And there are even some rare chests which could contain some more useful items like iron, emerald, and diamond blocks, plus some other fun items like amethyst shards and cake which are more common. And in some of the larger rooms there are dispensers which fire different types of projectiles around the place when activated. This includes items like fire charges, snowballs, arrows, and even different types of splash and lingering potions. And if you're able to avoid activating the dispensers then you can easily collect the items and use them against mobs in the trial chambers. Plus as you continue to explore, you can defeat more mobs spawned by the trial spawners and get more trial keys. Then with the trial keys you can unlock the vaults to get great rewards each time. And when you think you're ready to increase the challenge, you can drink an ominous bottle to begin an ominous event where more mobs will start spawning and with stronger armor. Then you can defeat the mobs from an ominous trial spawner and get an ominous trial key. With this ominous trial key you can finally unlock an ominous vault which contains the best rewards in the entire trial chambers. And you can keep on defeating more mobs to get more trial keys, and use an ominous bottle to get ominous trial keys, so you can continue to unlock all the vaults and trial spawners in the entire trial chamber structure, until you have gathered all of the rarest rewards. Good luck on your journey to a trial chambers, and make sure to gather all the best loot you can find.